there's no getting away from it, it's terrifying to play. I think there are two kinds of flute players with this piece. There are the ones who played it in concert and now, the ones who there are, there are things you have to worry about, the beginning and the end. What happens in the middle is entirely up to you. At the end of that first phrase, it's really important that you're the not The important flat. thing is looking at how long the phrase is and looking where the crescendo is. My experience is that most people always do too much crescendo. What I've often noticed is that the tempo that people take in the first two bars, suddenly when it gets to the quaver, Think about the sound you want to make at the beginning. It's very easy to play it in a sort of default flute setting. There's another solo. Again, it's a kind of difficult one, partly because of the note it starts on. It starts on an E. And that's not my favourite note. I don't know about yours. Uh, um, there are, you could talk for hours about this piece, but I think it's really important to not get too obsessed with it.